Hello everyone, Lisa from Epic Yarn Gems. Today I am going to be showing you how to do the griddle stitch. This is a relatively simple pattern. You just need to know how to chain, do a single crochet and double crochet. We are going to start off with a simple chain and you're going to do this in an even number. So um, two, four, six, eight, however many you want uh, to do. For this example, I believe that I did 14. And then once you get to the end of your starting chain, what you're going to do is you are going to go back into the chain to start your pattern, or not your pattern, your stitch. So you're going to go into that second chain from the end, and you are going to do a single crochet into that stitch. Then you're going to go into your next chain and you're going to do a double crochet. So I'll put uh, links to how to do single crochets and double crochets in case you want to check out those videos. And then you are going to do that all the way across. You are just going to alternate between the double crochet and single crochet. You'll be ending your row on a single crochet. I feel like I've used this stitch in some other patterns. I just didn't know it was called the griddle stitch. So um, just keep that in mind that it is a relatively simple stitch. And then when you get to the very end and you're finishing up with that single crochet, you are going to do a chain two and turn your work. I do a chain two because I'm starting the next row with a double crochet and it's right in the top of that last single crochet from the previous row. And then you're going to go across the same as you did before, and you're going to do a single crochet and a double crochet, and you're going to repeat that pattern all the way across. You'll end this row on a double crochet. And what you're doing here is the previous row that had a single crochet, you're putting a double crochet on top of it, and if the previous row had a double crochet, you're going to put a single crochet on top of it. So by doing this, it should make the um, line or the top of your stitches even across after you finish this row. Because if you look at a single and double, um, they are different heights. So after this row, you should have the same height all the way across. And as you finish up, like I said, your last stitch will be a double crochet. After you finish this row, you are going to do a chain one. And you're going to do that chain one because your first stitch is going to be a single crochet. It just lines up better for me. Um, if you want to do a uh, chain two, you can do that if that works better for you. And then you are going to do the pattern double crochet, single crochet, all the way across, and ending with a single crochet. And these last two rows that we just talked about, uh, that is going to be your repeat pattern. So row two and row three, you'll just keep doing that all the way across for however big you want to make whatever you are working on. And like I said, it does equal up the rows um, once you finish two because um, you're stacking them on top of each other. I think this is a pretty versatile stitch and can be used in a lot of things. It does make a tight weave, um, so if you're looking for something that doesn't have a lot of holes in it, this would be a great stitch to do that. So we're finishing up here. You can see what it looks like. Um, you can see those singles on top of the doubles and the doubles on top of the singles. And it does make a really cute stitch. It also looks pretty good from the back. So here is just an example of you can see that single crochet on top of the double and the double on top of the single. So you can see that um, it kind of makes a little ziggy zag pattern. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Um, please continue to watch Epic Yarn Gems. We do do um, giveaways from time to time. We have some finished projects. We also do some uh, bigger projects. And 
it, it's just a lot of information on uh, dealing with crochet. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And as always, peace, love, and happiness to you all. Take care and stay safe.